What's going on in our software is this is already the third unboxing in like, I don't know, a month or two, but we're already getting another gun. This is one that I got a good deal on, and uh, I think you guys are going to like it because this is the first of its kind on my channel. I've never had a weapon like this before displayed. It's totally different than anything you're used to, and as you saw in the last video, it is a little different because uh, I just, you know, usually get rifles, pistols. This is a pistol, but... I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. Would you look at that? I have been playing Red Dead Redemption too much, so I had to get myself one of these Legends smoke wagons. Oh my goodness, look at the chrome on this thing. Look how reflective it is. It's really heavy. I didn't think it'd be this heavy, but oh man, it feels incredible. Better than I thought it would. Ooh, that has a good sound. You can fan hammer it. Oh, it's better than I thought it would be. It's got the little shells. That... I'm not really sure how to operate this. I think half cock. Do that. Take the shells out. See, like I think I think these use a 357 Magnum, like the real gun, since it's a a peacemaker, a cult peacemaker in real life. But that's cool. You know, you do the half cock. You can move the cylinder and exchange the shells and put BBs in it that way. And. Oh man, I am I'm really impressed with the, the build quality of this gun. Like it's extremely heavy. I'd say it's about three pounds. I thought it would be kinda lightweight and uh not as like serious, but this is one badass replica right here. Like it's heavy. It's built really well. It's very chrome. I think they come in like three different colors. You got black, you got blued, you have chrome, and I think you have um like brushed aluminum so it's not as shiny but this is a mirror finish it's really reflective now when I wanted this gun I originally wanted the uh, the white grips but uh, you can't find them they're a little more unique and this is more the legendary one but it's really heavy so trying to do the what's that one guy revolver also a lot <laughs> trying to do his little revolver spins a bit difficult because it's so heavy and this gun is gonna take some getting used to before I can do that better but man it is serious pistol by the looks of it and uh, it's got little trademarks on it that are barely visible legends smoke wagon 45 so I guess it's uh, the 45 um, Colt uh, caliber looks like the grip comes off here let me just close that yeah that comes right off has the built-in Allen key so you can change the co2s so we'll put that in there in a second and we'll start shooting it the all off camera really really good built quality so far oh i didn't notice that that's black which is pretty unrealistic so the thing about this gun that kind of turns me off that i've seen in the pictures is you can actually see the screws so these are fake but they have like little screws here and there and and stuff like that but otherwise oh you also have this little fake safety that shouldn't be on a gun like this because you know the trigger is your safety back in the cowboy days you got some trademarks here and overall, like, I am actually really, really impressed with this. I paid 63 bucks for it, while online, brand new, they're like 120 bucks. So, good deal in my opinion. Um, doesn't have an orange tip. Looks like he ripped it off. I'm surprised the post office didn't find that out and, you know, hold on to it or something like they usually do. Uh, yeah, I guess that's supposed to look like that. It's got a little dent, I guess. Is that not supposed to be there? I don't know. But it's got fake, oh, spring-loaded fake firing pin. That's cool. And you can manually drop the hammer. I guess it doesn't go in all the way. And it, it'll it hit that, but it'll spring back. So that it's like a safety on a real gun. But overall, like you can fan hammer it. So we're going to test that. And uh, let's just start shooting it. Because that's what this gun is like. Probably really loud because it's CO2. And I'm pretty excited for that. So let's get into it. Alright, so we already got the CO2 in there, and um, so to load this gun, you do the half cock position, it opens the little gate there, and you can freely rotate this. I've already been over that. I like how it actually makes a clicking sound, it's pretty cool. So 
you can click and then it's kind of free float get it centered in the middle here we have our little 45 Colt rounds and we got our six millimeter in there now these are 0.25 gram BBs which may be too heavy for this gun I've heard it doesn't have a hop up so the range on it is gonna be pretty poor I only plan on taking this into CQB anyway so I'm not expecting it to like shoot across an entire field or anything crazy like that so since the BBs feed in the very back of the shell when you want to like reload this gun you don't necessarily have to take them out and do all that crazy stuff that takes a long time you could just put the BB in like that rotate it put in another BB so for actual game paper, uh, gameplay purposes you know that shouldn't be a big issue but if you want to carry more shells I recommend it if you're a true badass so another thing I noticed is that you can um, decock it and it won't release the gas so we're ready to shoot all right, so we're finally gonna shoot it. I already dry fired it, of course, but one of my favorite features about this gun is actually cocking it, so you can hear the cool sound it makes. If you played Red Dead or, or Fallout New Vegas, then this is obviously a fan favorite, so we're ready. Not bad. It's out. So one out of six shots, but uh, I was noticing it's not it's not that bad based on what I've heard on the internet If you're engaging at this distance, which is what I plan to do of course CQB only with this gun But uh, it's got no hop up, but honestly it didn't do too bad right there I mean I got to work on the aiming when I actually aimed straight at it They just went a little bit low It's probably because I'm using 25, but we brought some uh, those like weird greenish um, 20 gram maybe so just keep filming and Go ahead and do the quick way of reloading this. Got some of these 20 grams. They are mixed, of course. These are just some BBs my friend gave to me. But we're gonna try them out. Since they are just 0.25s, gotta make sure it's half cocked. Shit. <laughs> Alright, this may take a second, and I'm dropping them everywhere, so we should just pause it. Alright, so we got the 20 grams in there. I believe they're 20 grams. But that's what my friend told me they were. But, uh, Let's try to shoot it a little more tactical like this, see if I can get a better grip on it. Because I'm not used to this, of course. I'll try to get my hand up as high as I can so I'm actually hammer biting, but I'm trying to be accurate here. That's not really comfortable with this gun, I gotta do it like this. It's really front heavy, of course. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to hold it. I guess I'll do this for now. A little well. Well, I went way to the left. Right. Okay, so I don't think it's necessarily inaccurate. Um, it's gonna take some getting used to. It'll hit a man size, a man size target just fine. Um, so I got less than I got like two more ideas. I'm gonna try the full length of the backyard and then I'll fan hammer it because of course that's why these guns are so cool. And uh, yeah, so let's get into that. All right, this is full length. It's like the last video. Some of them are like wild and they go way off to the right. It's not windy down here. Okay, we're already out. So obviously, like, it's not pinpoint accurate, especially at this range. But um, not exactly sure how to get it more accurate than it is. But uh, yeah, I guess it's more for fun and for collectors. You could definitely airsoft with it. So when I actually do that, it'll be a challenge. But in in the CQB field, like the distance is pretty much to here. If I'm shooting at a human, we're gonna hit him, and maybe we'll maybe I'll get shot by it. We'll try that out. Trash. <laughs> That's better. I didn't even see any bullets. Oh, I actually got it.
little kid in the background is going to ruin this whole video. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's out. You had to start filming when the little kid's going. Got him. <laughs> Where'd you go? Was that the last shot? Alright, so that was the unboxing and shooting test of the Smoke Wagon CO2 revolver. I believe this is a Colt 45 or the Peacemaker. I don't really know my revolvers, but this is my first revolver. I've always really liked them. And this is a good one to start with. And of course, I wanted like an actual modern one with like double action and all that. But something about this gun, especially you played Fall especially you played Fallen in Vegas, is obviously a super fun gun to use because you have to actuate the hammer every time, and you know it's a really uh, it's a really challenging gun if you want to actually like shoot multiple people or be accurate. So when I play a Fighter Town, this will be like a challenge for myself, and I think most of all it's going to be fun because if you've seen my channel, it's a bunch of tactical stuff, tactical modern weaponry, and this is the only like old school gun I have. I had a Thompson, but you know, this is even older than that. And using it in game is gonna be one hell of a challenge, but I'm pretty excited to try it out. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for some actual gameplay with the smoke wagon. Go. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna say, hold on. <laughs> is mice in your eyes? <laughs> mice should in your I eyes. Should I start on should I do like a cool little like, Yeah go ahead. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. Inception, ready? Uh, Move! Uh, action? <laughs> action? Uh, Alright, wait. Oh, do you wanna... You already blocked it out, right? Oh yeah, you already did. Yeah. Okay, we're losing daylight. Alright, go!